when all these decrees come down from the leadership, how do they communicate other than verbally? Do they write it down somewhere that every Mormon and everybody that's... Yes. Okay, so twice a year, mm -hmm. uh, they have general conference. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. that's when you're hearing the voice of God from the prophet mm -hmm. and the apostles. And so then every one of their talks is, you know, broadcast and then it's put into uh, their magazine and sign. And so it's in, you know, it's in writing and then that becomes whatever is current is what's being talked about. We'll get an update. <laughs> you know, so, you know, a lot of what's prior to the problem is like there's stuff, garbage that happened back here or it was taught back here. But if you try and bring it up, they have no clue now because when they change directions they don't even like they just pretend like the, the, the previous designate it didn't even exist it, back, eh? yeah and they'll just make a change and they'll release a new copy of the book of mormon like uh, the dna study came out you know um mitochondrial dna showed that um the, the Native Americans did not descend in any way, shape, or form from Israelites, that they descended from Asian, you know, descent. Ooh. And the whole story of the Book of Mormon is based off of the Lamanite, Lamanites and Nephites being, you know, the, the Lamanites, they, they survived. They're the principal ancestors. That's what it used to say, the principal ancestors of the Native Americans. Then after that study... A new copy of the Book of Mormon comes out, and the introduction now says they're among the ancestors of the Native Americans. So mm -hmm. they can still, there is, you know, like they can't prove conclusively 100%, you know, they're out there and, you know, and that's the way they deal with stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So unless you even have somebody who has access to a previous copy, which, you know, obviously they take completely out of <laughs> circulation, you know, um, then they just kind of, change directions and we don't even know why they were saying that kind of stuff back then you know if they, you bring it up so like admitting blacks into the yeah yeah like, right. I, that's that's a that religion. Religion. yeah yeah and in the pearl of great price um the book of abraham and the book of moses that's where a lot of that stuff comes from the whole idea in the resistance <coughs> that you know those were people who didn't fight valiantly on Jesus' side and they were sent to earth and cursed with you know dark skin and all that kind of stuff and the old book of mormons used to say when certain people converted that they became white and delightsome mm -hmm. now it says pure and delightsome mm -hmm. <laughs> and so you know like yeah the the people now um They've just flat out said, you know, like, yeah, I don't, I don't know why they, they banned them, you know, where there's clear teachings that's doctrinally based off of something that's like a key central event in their scriptures, and yet they have no clue. So, so the prophet makes those decisions, or is it his little council? Their, their government's the, the <clears throat> prophet, who's the president of the church, and then mm -hmm. he has the core, the, the mm -hmm. quorum of the three. Okay, so he has like, three advisors that he chooses from amongst the, the apostles, the current. Mm -hmm. okay. And then they have 12 apostles, and then they have underneath that the 70s, which, you know, you can see from the Gospels where they're mm -hmm. pulling this stuff. But they believe it's divinely instituted exactly. organizational structure that you can't be the true church unless you have this in place. Mm -hmm. 